On March 8th, Adobe posted to their labs website a new technology called Wallaby. This is a preview of something that they showed at Adobe Max this fall uh, of a technology that takes a flash file, an FLA file, and converts it to a compatible HTML5 animation. This is really cool because it allows animators who are familiar with Flash to be able to create banner ads or animations that will work on devices that do not support Flash but support HTML5. For example, the iPhone or iPad. The thing to remember is that this is a preview technology, so it's not going to support every single feature in Flash. Uh, it might have a couple issues along the way, but it's just Adobe's way of giving you a little preview at what they're working on. So if you haven't done so, go to labs.adobe.com and download Wallaby. You just click the download link, you accept the terms, and download the appropriate product for your platform. After you download it, you'll get an application that looks like this. Really simple application just asking you to browse for a FLA file and it will convert it to an HTML5 based animation. I'd like to take you through a good use case of this. In Flash, I have a simple Flash file here. Uh, if I were to just preview this file, you'll see that it's just a couple of graphics sitting on screen. You may recognize this file. This is that classic crane example, which lets you use an armature. What I'd like to do is I'd like to make an animation here of a crane. So on my crane layer, I'm going to go to my library, and I'm going to grab the crane arm and just sort of position it where I want it to go. I'm going to grab the second arm, position that, and the third arm, or the rope rather, and have that be positioned here as well. Now my goal is to have this actually go down off screen, grab a logo and pull it on screen and that's going to be my animation. So I'm going to make one more layer at the top here called logo and from my library I'm going to drag down the Easel Solutions logo. It's shameless product placement but that's alright. I'm going to convert that to a movie clip called logo and I'm ready to go. So the first part of this is just getting the crane to animate. This has nothing to do with what we're talking about with Wallaby. This is just using armatures that they added into Flash CS4. I'm going to find the bone tool. And with the bone tool, I'm going to start linking together the movie clips that I pulled on screen. So I'm just dragging little bones to each joint. Now what this does is it copies them all onto the same layer and makes what's called an armature. This allows you to drag one movie clip and see the other ones react accordingly. So I want to animate this crane going down, grabbing the logo and pulling it back up on screen. Now I'm going to have the animation wait just about a second before it begins. So I'm going to go out to frame 30 and I want the crane to look the exact same at frame 30 and that's where it'll start the animation. So I'm going to control or command click on this first frame, right click and choose copy pose, control click or command click on frame 30 and paste pose. The reason I'm pasting a pose here is because this is where I want the animation to actually start. I don't want it to be animating in these previous frames. So then I'm going to come out to about frame 60 and I'm just going to move the crane. Remember when you're moving these bones around sometimes they can be a little jerky uh, but just work at it and you'll get them to be where you want. I'm going to zoom in a little here too. Now, right at fr you'll, you'll notice as I drag my, f my playhead back, there is a nice animation of that hook coming down to my, my uh, logo. Now, I want the logo to actually start on this frame. So I'm going to move the keyframe out to frame 60, and I'm going to move the logo just on to where the, the hook would be. Moving down my timeline, I'm going to go to frame 100, and I'm going to animate the crane moving up. So I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to have the crane move back up. So I've got the crane back at the top. Now you'll see it animates up really cool and ends up that way. But I actually don't like how long the hook is actually off screen. So I'm going to go about halfway through that animation and I'm going to actually move the crane so it's back on 
screen a little bit earlier. So you'll see the animation just updates. It animates to right there and then lifts everything up. Awesome. Last step is to animate the logo. Now this is a little tricky. I'm going to right click on the animation and add a, and create a motion tween. Obviously it's in the right place at frame one. I'm going to go to the second pose and I'm going to move the logo. And I'm going to go to the final position and I'm going to move the logo up there as well. The thing is, as I move the playhead, the logo isn't quite moving with the crane. And this takes a little bit of tweaking, but just to show you the easiest way to do this is I'm going to switch the logo over to a outline view. I'm going to zoom in. And what I'm going to do on frame one is I'm going to get this logo positioned so that the registration point is right at the tip of the crane. This is just for a reference. That way, when I move to this next keyframe, I can make sure that that registration point is still at the tip of the crane. That way, I can guarantee that it's lined up correctly. Same thing with the last frame. Let me move it to the last frame. Again, I'm off a little bit here, but if I move it over, I can use my arrow keys. And I'm just getting, again, that registration point to be at the tip of the crane. It's kind of arbitrary, but what that allows me to do is make sure that the logo is always in the same spot at each keyframe. Now, as I watch it, turn my outlines back off, it looks pretty good, although it still moves a little bit because it's not the animation is not just a linear animation. So my final addition here, I'm going to put my outline back on, is I'm going to zoom in and you can see that the path of the animation is not matching the path of the crane. All I'm going to do is just bend the motion path. And this isn't perfect. You could spend a little bit more time tweaking it, but you'll see now that it follows the tip of that crane. I can do that for this last leg too. I'm just going about halfway down the animation, grabbing the motion path, and getting it to match. Not perfect, but close enough. So if I test my movie now with Control or Command Enter, you'll see after about a second it goes up. And it just keeps looping. Now before it loops, I might want it to sit on screen just a bit longer, so all I'm going to do in my timeline is just come out you know, maybe to frame 140 and hit F5 on all the layers. So that'll just insert more frames. And if I watch, now it'll hold on screen a little bit before it loops. So this is my flash banner. I'm really excited about this. Only problem is some devices don't support flash. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Wallaby to create an HTML5 version of this banner. I'm going to open up Wallaby and I'm going to browse for this FLA. When the dialog pops up, I'm going to select my FLA. I'm going to hit open. There are some preferences that you can set right now to preview it in the default browser after it does all the converting. Uh, you can leave that on. That's fine. I'm going to hit convert. When I do, it's going to ask me where I want to save the HTML file. I'm just going to save it in the same directory. It's going to convert it. It's going to open up a web browser and you'll see the animation. Now notice it's sort of working, but not really. The crane isn't moving. Well, this is because that armature is a really fancy animation. It handled the motion tween just fine, but not the armature. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to my FLA. I'm going to select the armature layer. I'm going to right click on it and say convert to a frame by frame animation. Now the only way to revert this back is to undo it. So you don't want to do too much stuff if you need to edit this. Sometimes it's nice to save out a copy before you do this step. But notice it becomes a keyframed animation. If I save the FLA again, go back to Wallaby, tell it to convert it again. I'm just going to save over the top of everything. It'll pop open the file and now I see a nice animation. Again, this is HTML. If I right click, you'll, not, you'll notice there is no flash banner. We're almost done because I like the fact that I was able to create an HTML5 alternative for my banner. However, I'm not happy with the fact that I'd have to have two separate web pages. What I'd rather do is have the website show the, H show the Flash version, and if they don't have Flash, show the HTML5 version. So I'm going to go to Dreamweaver to help me out with this. 
In Dreamweaver, you'll notice I have a site set up pointing at the directory where I've been working. There's my FLA, there's all the files it generated. Just to recap what it generated is it made an HTML file. It made a JavaScript and CSS file to accompany that HTML file for doing some of the positioning and styling. And then all the magic is happening in this jQuery fold file. It's using jQuery to do some of the animation. In Dreamweaver, I'm going to create a new HTML file. I'm going to save it. Into my directory, I'm going to call it index.html, since this is my main file. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the SWF file, I'm going to drag and drop it into my window. When I do so, as soon as I save my file, Dreamweaver is going to copy over some of the files that it needs in order to detect for Flash and install the Flash player if the user doesn't have it. If I preview this in a browser, it'll start up and play. And remember, this is just Flash. If I right click on it, you'll see the Flash context menu. When Dreamweaver creates a Flash file in your web page, it adds an area of the code where you can put alternate content. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the existing content that's in here, which is just a link to the Flash player. I'm going to open up the crane.html file. I'm going to find all the content of this file. Now this is a little bit easier if I switch to code view just to show you everything that's inside the body tag here. You could also copy this from design view as well. I tend to prefer copying it from code view to make sure I get what I want. But you'll notice I'm copying all the crazy div stuff that they're doing. It's the only content in the body. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to my file and paste it right here. Now we're not done because this crane file also had a few dependent files. You'll notice there is a CSS file and two JavaScript files. I'm going to copy those as well. I'm going to come back to Flash and at the top I'm just going to paste those under my title property. Now my index file is updated. If I were to preview that again in a browser, you'll notice it works, but that's because it's playing the Flash file. I'm going to turn off my Flash plugin in Chrome just by going to the plugins. I'm going to go back and you'll notice the page that's running right now has an animation working. If I right click on the animation, look at that. It's not Flash. It's HTML5. Now to test this for real, what I would like to do is pull open this file on a couple devices. And it's a little dark in here, but I've got it dark just so you can actually see the devices. What I'm going to do is pull up this directory on my Evo. My laptop has a XAMPP server running. And so you'll notice we have an animation. Camera's slowly adjusting to the brightness here. You can see it's working. Now, now this is an HTC Evo. It's a device that supports Flash. So we're just seeing the normal Flash banner on here. So let's pull this up on a device that doesn't support Flash. Here's a popular device that doesn't support Flash. This is a first generation iPad, now of course out of date now that the iPad 2 is out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh the browser here. And you'll see this animation pull up. Again, this is the exact same file playing the same animation. One of them was HTML5, one of them was Flash. I encourage you to go download Wallaby and begin trying it out for yourself. Like I said, it's still in a preview format, so it's going to have a few issues, but it's a good look at what Adobe is trying to do to help extend the reach of this rich content that we can create with their tools. I can use a great animation tool like Flash, create my Flash banners, but still provide alternate content for, for individuals who do not have a Flash-enabled device.